you want some delicious vegan Thanksgiving recipes? Of course you do. Here are some your whole family will love. If you're a vegan, do you feel a little left out at Thanksgiving? Everyone else's meal is centered around a whole bird and equally non-vegan marshmallow topped sweet potatoes and vegan options can feel few and far between. Well, stop feeling down and take a look at these 12 very manageable vegan Thanksgiving dishes that'll make your meal as festive as your poultry eating family and friends. Plus, these recipes are all approved by registered dietitian nutritionists, and some even come from my own plant-based kitchen. 1. Instant Pot Cranberry Sauce Homemade Cranberry Sauce That's Easy to Whip Up Yes, please, I insist on making homemade cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving, says certified athletic trainer Dana Angelo White, MS, Road, ATC, author of the Healthy Instant Pot Cookbook. It adds the perfect tangy edge to all the savory holiday foods. I recently discovered the most delicious batch of sweet tart cranberry flawlessness is minutes away, start to finish, using the Instant Pot. Ready for more delish ideas? Here are vegan appetizers anyone will enjoy. Ingredients 24 ounces fresh cranberries 1 cup granulated sugar 1 quarter cup orange juice 1 tablespoon orange zest Pinch kosher salt Instructions Combine cranberries, sugar, orange juice, orange zest, and salt in the instant pot's inner pot. Gently stir to coat the cranberries in the sugar. Cover and lock the lid, set the vent to the ceiling position. Select pressure cook, high, set timer to 2 minutes. When cook time is complete, allow for 5 minutes of natural release, then quick release the remaining pressure. Remove the lid, and transfer to containers to cool. Store in the refrigerator for up to two weeks. Makes one quart two, harvest baked squash how about a no-hassle veggie side that'll make all your guests smile. This side is so easy and delicious, says Joan Salge Blake, RDN, nutrition professor at Boston University and host of the health and wellness podcast Spot On. Wondering what vegetarians eat on Thanksgiving, besides these wonderful dishes. Ingredients 2 acorn squash 1 cup water 1 eighth cup light margarine look for one without partially hydrogenated oil 1 eighth cup chopped walnuts 1 eighth cup maple syrup 1 quarter cup apple juice 1 quarter cup dates 1 8 cup golden raisins Instructions Preheat oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, cut squash in half widthwise, and spoon out centers. Cut stems off so each squash half stands upright. Pour water into large baking dish. Place squash halves upright in baking dish, set aside. In a non-stick frying pan, melt margarine. Add walnuts, sauté until golden, about 2 to 3 minutes. Remove pan from heat, and add remaining ingredients. Spoon mixture evenly into centers of squash halves. Bake for 35 to 40 minutes in covered dish, or until squash is fork tender. Remove from oven. Use a spoon to drizzle a tablespoon of liquid from the center of the squash halves onto the tops of the squash. Place squash halves under broiler, broil for 2 to 3 minutes, until golden. Makes 4 servings. 3. Sweet and spicy turmeric roasted carrots I love these roasted carrots because they are simple and spotlight all sorts of seasonal flavors like cinnamon and turmeric, says Leanne Ray, MS, RDN, a Denver-based registered dietitian. Carrots are generally a well-accepted vegetable, and these are anything but boring. Ingredients 1 pound carrots, peeled and sliced into half-inch pieces on a slight bias. 1 heaping tablespoon coconut oil, melted. 1 half teaspoon turmeric. 
1 half teaspoon cinnamon. Pinch cayenne pepper. 2 tablespoons brown sugar, packed. Flaky sea salt, to taste. Instructions. Preheat oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, line a large baking sheet with parchment paper. Place carrot slices in a medium bowl. Mix together coconut oil, spices, and brown sugar in a small dish, pour over carrots. Toss well to coat, and transfer to baking sheet. Cook 18 to 20 minutes, or until carrots are slightly tender and browned. Top with a pinch of flaky sea salt to finish. Makes four servings. 4. Lentil walnut stuffing This lentil walnut stuffing provides a flavor and texture even omnivores will enjoy, says Kelly Jones, Road, a Philadelphia-based sports dietitian and recipe blogger. I created it as an alternative to the sausage stuffing my husband enjoyed as a child, and it's been a hit with the whole family. The lentils and walnuts come together as a replacement for the sausage texture, and herbs like sage and oregano provide the flavor. Ingredients 2 cups raw walnuts 4 tablespoons vegan butter 3 cloves garlic, minced 1 cup diced yellow or white onion 1 half cup finely diced carrot 1 half cup finely diced celery 2 cups cooked green lentils 1 tablespoon olive oil 2 tablespoons fresh sage, finely chopped 1 half tablespoons fresh oregano Salt, to taste Black pepper, to taste 12 cups cubed whole grain bread 4 cups vegetable broth, divided Instructions Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, toast walnuts on a baking sheet for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, heat butter in a large saucepan over low-medium heat. Add garlic, stir, and cover for 1 minute. Add onion, carrot, and celery, stir and cover for 5 minutes, or until onions are translucent. Set walnuts aside to cool. Place lentils, olive oil, and cooled walnuts in a food processor. Pulse several times, until a meaty texture is formed. Add lentil walnut mixture to saucepan, along with herbs and spices. Stir well, and remove from heat. Add cubed bread to a large mixing bowl, along with the saucepan mixture. Toss, pour in three cups of vegetable broth. Stir well, until liquid is absorbed. Pour in remaining broth, stir. Grease a 9-inch by 12-inch baking dish with oil, pour mixture in. Cover with foil, and bake for 40 minutes. Increase heat to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, and remove foil. Bake an additional 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your texture preferences. 5. Shaved kale and Brussels sprout salad with lemon tahini dressing Talk about a tasty holiday salad. This salad is the perfect complement to an indulgent holiday meal, notes nutrition blogger Sarah Gold Anslova, MS, RDN. The creamy dressing coats the kale and Brussels sprouts, while the pomegranate and pecans add a burst of flavor and crunch, making every bite satisfying. It's packed with fiber and a bit of protein, making it a filling vegan side. Ingredients 1 large head dinosaur kale 1 tablespoon olive oil 1 quarter plus 1 eighth teaspoon kosher salt, divided 1 pound Brussels sprouts 1 third cup tahini Juice and zest of 1 medium lemon 1 teaspoon maple syrup one quarter cup warm water, more if needed. One small clove garlic, grated. One cup pecan halves. Arrows of one medium pomegranate. Instructions. Prep the kale by remove stems and chopping into thin strips. Place in a bowl, drizzle with olive oil and one eighth teaspoon kosher salt. 
Massage with your hands until olive oil is well mixed and kale becomes about half the volume. Using a food processor with the greater attachment, feed Brussels sprouts through until they become slaw-like. Next, whisk together 1 quarter teaspoon kosher salt, tahini, lemon juice, lemon zest, maple syrup, warm water, and garlic until mixture is creamy. Toast the pecans by placing on the stovetop in a pan over medium heat. Toast until pecans become fragrant and slightly browned, 4 to 5 minutes. Let cool, and roughly chop. Mix together kale and Brussels sprouts. Top with pecans and pomegranate arils. Toss with dressing. If you are making this ahead of time, leave dressing on the side until ready to serve. Store leftovers in fridge for up to three days. Makes eight to ten servings. Six, broccoli slaw salad with flax seeds and hemp seeds. We often celebrate broccoli florets. But what about broccoli stems? They make a great base for a holiday salad, and this vegan side dish can be whipped up in minutes. It comes from my own kitchen. Want more healthy meals you can make in 20 minutes? Ingredients 12 ounces broccoli slaw mix 1 avocado, diced 1 plum tomato, diced 1 tablespoon rice vinegar 1 tablespoon plus 1 teaspoon olive oil 1 teaspoon maple syrup 2 tablespoon slivered almonds 1 and a half tablespoon flax seeds, ground 1 and a half tablespoon hemp seeds Salt, to taste Black pepper, to taste Instructions In a large bowl, combine broccoli slaw with avocado and tomato in a small bowl, mix vinegar, oil, and maple syrup. Toss vinegar mixture with broccoli slaw mixture. Top with almonds and seeds, and sprinkle with salt and black pepper. Makes four servings. 7. Roasted butternut squash and cranberry quinoa salad with cider Dijon vinaigrette although technically a seed, quinoa is treated like a grain and a high-protein one at that, says Jessica Levinson, MS, RDN, a New York City-based culinary nutritionist. This is why it makes a great base for vegan salads like this one that's full of Thanksgiving flavors. Ingredients 1 quarter cup apple cider 1 tablespoon whole grain Dijon mustard 1 tablespoon apple cider vinegar 1 quarter cup plus 1 tablespoon and 1 teaspoon olive oil, divided 2 tablespoons plus 1 half teaspoon kosher salt, divided Freshly ground pepper to taste Cooking spray 4 cups diced butternut squash one and a half cups fresh or frozen cranberries. One and a half cup chopped shallots. One teaspoon maple syrup. One cup uncooked white quinoa. Two cups water. One and a half teaspoons lemon zest. One tablespoon thinly sliced sage, cut chiffonade style, divided. Two tablespoons toasted pecans, chopped. Instructions In a bowl, whisk together apple cider, mustard, apple cider vinegar, 3 tablespoons olive oil, 1 half teaspoon salt, and pepper. Set aside. Preheat oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, line a large baking sheet with foil, coat with cooking spray. Toss diced squash with 2 tablespoons olive oil, and spread in a single layer on prepared baking sheet. Roast 15 minutes until squash is tender and starting to brown. Toss cranberries and shallots with maple syrup and remaining oil. Add to baking sheet, and toss with the squash. Roast 10 to 15 minutes, until squash is crisp and browned on the outside, the cranberries have started to soften and burst, and shallots are caramelized. Meanwhile, prepare quinoa. Combine quinoa and water in a small saucepan, and bring to a boil. 
Reduce to a simmer, cover, and cook until all water is absorbed, about 10 to 15 minutes. Transfer quinoa to a bowl, and let cool about 5 to 10 minutes. Toss quinoa with lemon zest, most of the sage, and half the dressing. Add in roasted vegetable mixture, the remainder of the dressing, remainder of salt, and black pepper. Toss, and garnish with remaining sage. Top with pecans, and serve warm. Makes 12 servings. 8. Cauliflower and chickpea stew This hearty vegan stew makes an excellent and unexpected starter for Thanksgiving, says Julie Hartigan, a healthy chef in Hoboken, New Jersey. It uses cauliflower two ways, roasted and curried for depth of flavor, and pureed for a rich silky finish. What's more, you'll probably end up with leftovers for perfect light meals following Thanksgiving. Ingredients 8 cups bite-sized cauliflower florets, divided. Cooking spray. 1 tablespoon curry powder, divided. 1 teaspoon salt, divided. 1 teaspoon coconut oil. 2 cups diced onion. 1 teaspoon minced garlic. 1 teaspoon minced ginger. 1 teaspoon mustard seed. 1 teaspoon cumin seed. 4 cups vegetable broth. 1 14 ounce can diced tomatoes, drained. 1 15 ounce canned chickpeas, rinsed and drained. 2 cups green beans, cut into bite sized pieces. 5 ounce package baby spinach. 1 tablespoon lime juice. Cilantro, optional for garnish. Lime wedges, optional for garnish. Instructions. Preheat oven to 450 degrees. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Place 4 cups cauliflower in a large bowl, spray with cooking spray, and toss with 2 teaspoons curry powder and 1 half teaspoon salt. Spread on prepared sheet, and roast for 30 minutes, stirring once halfway through. While cauliflower is roasting, heat coconut oil in a large soup pot. Add onion and remaining salt, cook for 5 minutes, or until slightly softened. Add garlic, ginger, mustard seed, cumin seed, and remaining curry powder, cook for 1 minute. Add broth and remaining cauliflower florets, and bring to a boil. Cook for 15 to 20 minutes, or until cauliflower is extremely soft. Use an immersion blender to puree mixture. Stir in tomatoes, chickpeas, green beans, and spinach, simmer for 5 to 7 minutes, or until green beans are tender. Stir in lime juice and roasted cauliflower, simmer for 1 minute to heat through. Serve garnished with optional cilantro and lime wedges. Makes 6 servings. 9. Vegan Shepherd's Pie Here's a vegan spin on a Thanksgiving favorite. This casserole can serve a crowd, and it is delicious and nourishing with lentils, parsnips, and potatoes, says Tracy Yablon Brenner, RDN, Culinary Director of Triad to Wellness in Nyack, New York. Ingredients 2 pounds potatoes, peeled and quartered. 1 cup parsnips, peeled and cut into 2 inch pieces. 3 tablespoons plus 2 teaspoons olive oil, diced. 6 cloves garlic, minced, divided. 1 teaspoon sea salt, divided. Black pepper to taste. 1 quarter cup rice milk. 1 and a quarter cups dried lentils, rinsed, or 2 cups cooked lentils. 4 cups water. 1 bay leaf. 1 cup onion, diced. 3 ounces baby bella mushrooms, diced. 1 cup carrots, diced. 1 teaspoon cumin. 3 quarters teaspoon turmeric. 1 half teaspoon thyme. 1 tablespoon apple cider vinegar. 1 quarter teaspoon red chili flakes, optional. Instructions. Place potatoes and parsnips in a large saucepan, and add enough cold water to cover them. 
Bring to a boil, reduce to a light simmer until tender, about 15 to 25 minutes. Using a ladle, reserve three quarters cup of the water in a bowl, drain potatoes and parsnips and return them to the pot. Mash potatoes and parsnips with a potato masher or handheld mixer until no visible lumps exist. Do not use a food processor, as the potatoes will become gluey. Add 2 tablespoons olive oil, 4 cloves garlic, 1 half teaspoon sea salt, and pepper, mix together. Slowly add rice milk and 1 quarter cup of reserved water at a time until potatoes are light and fluffy. While potato mixture is cooking, add lentils, 4 cups water, bay leaf, and 1 quarter teaspoon sea salt to a saucepan, bring to a gentle simmer. Cook for 30 to 35 minutes, until lentils are tender. Omit this step if you are using canned or packaged lentils. In a medium skillet, heat 1 tablespoon and 1 teaspoon olive oil, and add onion. Sauté over medium heat, until translucent. Add mushrooms, carrots, cumin, turmeric, thyme, red chili pepper, remaining garlic, and remaining salt. Stir, then cover skillet halfway. Occasionally stir for 8 to 10 minutes, until mushrooms and carrots are soft. In a medium bowl, mix lentils and mushroom mixture together. Add 1 cup of mashed potatoes to lentil mixture, and stir together. Preheat the oven to broil. Use remaining olive oil to lightly grease a 2-quart casserole dish. Ladle in the lentil mixture then spread potato mixture evenly over the top. Broil for 10 minutes, or until the potatoes begin to turn golden and slightly crusty. Let stand for 5 minutes, then cut into wedges to serve. Makes 6 servings. 10. Apple pie nachos Nachos just reached a new level, says Cara Lydon, Road, RYT, a dietitian, yoga teacher, and nutrition blogger. These vegan apple pie nachos are a healthier spin on traditional apple pie. Wow your holiday guests this year with a fun, innovative dessert. Go ahead and grab yummy vegan holiday dessert recipes. Ingredients 4 mini whole wheat pita breads 1 third cup coconut oil and 2 tablespoons coconut oil, divided 2 teaspoons cinnamon, divided 2 teaspoons coconut sugar 1 quarter teaspoon salt, divided 4 apples, cored and cut into 1 inch cubes 1 quarter teaspoon nutmeg 1 quarter cup pecans, chopped Vegan vanilla ice cream 1 quarter cup maple syrup 3 tablespoons almond butter 1 teaspoon vanilla 1 quarter teaspoon coarse sea salt Vegan vanilla ice cream, optional Instructions Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, melt 2 tablespoons coconut oil, set aside. Cut each pitta into 8 triangles. Place pitta in a gallon-sized zip-top bag. Add melted coconut oil, 1 half teaspoon cinnamon, sugar, and 1 8 teaspoon salt to bag. Shake until pitta is evenly coated. Transfer pitta to a parchment-lined baking sheet and bake, flipping halfway through, for 15 to 20 minutes or until lightly browned and crispy. In a microwave-safe large mixing bowl, toss apples with nutmeg, remaining cinnamon, and remaining salt until coated. Microwave, stirring at 2-minute intervals, for 6 minutes or until apples are warm and tender. In a small saucepan, heat pecans over medium-high heat until fragrant. In a microwave-safe medium mixing bowl, heat maple syrup and remaining coconut oil and for one minute, or until melted. Whisk in almond butter, vanilla, and sea salt until smooth and creamy. To assemble nachos, layer pita chips, apples, caramel sauce, pecans, and an optional dollop of vegan ice cream. Makes four servings.
11. Raspberry Vegan Bars Why not whip up a dessert that's full of berries? These deliciously nutty no-bake bars are creamy, tangy, and jam-packed with antioxidants, says nutrition blogger Shahzadi Devje, Road. They contain no refined sugar but tons of flavor and goodness. Want 12 healthy desserts that can actually help you lose weight? Ingredients 1 third cup almonds 1 third cup hazelnuts 2 thirds cup dates, pitted 1 eighth teaspoon salt 1 cup cashews, soaked overnight 2 tablespoons and 1 teaspoon lemon juice, divided 2 tablespoons coconut oil 1 tablespoons maple syrup 1 teaspoon lemon zest 1 and a half cup raspberries 1 teaspoon agar agar Instructions Add almonds, hazelnuts, dates, and salt to a food processor, pulse until very fine. Press mixture into the bottom of a 9 inch by x 5 inch loaf pan lined with parchment paper. Place crust in the freezer while you prepare the filling. Clean the processor to use for the filling. Rinse and drain the water from soaked cashews. Add cashews to food processor, along with 2 tablespoons lemon juice, coconut oil, maple syrup, and lemon zest. Blend until creamy. If needed, add 1 to 2 tablespoons of water to achieve creamy consistency. Pour filling into the crust, using a spatula, spread across the pan evenly. Place in the freezer while you prepare the raspberry topping. Blend the raspberries and remaining lemon juice. Add mixture to a small pan over medium heat. Stir in the agar agar. Bring to a slight simmer, and remove the pan from the heat. Pour the raspberry topping over the cashew filling. Cool for 15 minutes, and place in freezer for 2 to 3 hours, or until mixture is firm. Thaw for 10 to 15 minutes, use a knife to separate bars from the edge of the pan. Pick up the bars using both sides of the parchment paper. Cut into bars using a sharp knife, and serve cold. Makes 8 servings. 12. No-bake vegan cheesecake. This cheesecake has a velvety smooth, rich texture that is the perfect balance between tangy and sweet, says Maggie Farley, a nutrition blogger in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Ingredients 1 and a half cup dates, pitted. 1 and 3 quarters cup pecans. 1 teaspoon salt, divided. 5 sheets graham crackers. 1 and a half cup cashews, soaked overnight. 1 cup coconut milk. 1 half tablespoon lemon zest. 1 quarter cup lemon juice. 3 tablespoons coconut oil, melted. 1 eighth cup maple syrup. 1 eighth cup cornstarch. Instructions. To make the crust, place dates and pecans in a food processor, process until crumbly and soft. Add in 1 half teaspoon salt and graham crackers, pulse until mixture is sticky. Once crust is processed to desired consistency, press into bottom of a springform pan and chill for at least 20 minutes. Place cashews, coconut milk, lemon zest, lemon juice, coconut oil, maple syrup, remaining salt, and cornstarch in a blender, blend until smooth and no lumps appear. Remove springform pan from freezer, pour blended cheesecake filling into the pan. Freeze for at least 4 hours. Remove cheesecake from the freezer 5 to 10 minutes prior to serving. Add whatever jam or fruit you'd like for a topping. Makes 16 servings.